Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mariano Ferdano from University of Leuven, Belgium. And it is a pleasure to meet all of you guys here. Today, I would like to give you a presentation about my study, Survival of Human Dental Pulp Cells of the Four-Week Culture in Human Tooth Model. But first, let me talk about this. Pulp capping treatment. The main goal of this treatment is um, to maintain pulp vitality of affected tooth. However, the body of evidence to support their clinical use is coming mostly from in vitro. In vitro te tests that are very useful, but they do not provide clinical evidence of actual pulp capping effectiveness. Or in vivo animal study, there are good models for testing pulp capping agents, but the pulp tissue reaction when exposed to material, it's not necessarily the same as that recorded in humans. In this way, ladies and gentlemen, an ex vivo tooth culture model has been introduced. It serves as a screening tool to evaluate new pulp capping formulations in a cheaper, faster manner with a reproductibility that may be higher than that of animal models. Therefore, this study aims to validate the human tooth model by investigating dental sensor abilities. Moreover, the effects of exposure and capping on uh, pulp tissue of the four-week culture in the tooth model was investigated. Moving on to second, material and method. First experimental, first step, ethical approval needed to be considered, of course, and uh, simple collecting. A total of 18 teeth were used and those teeth were divided into four groups. Second step, placing in tooth culture medium. Move to the next step, third step, cell characterization. Last, statistical analysis. Recall from four groups that I've mentioned. First, um, control group. Teeth were immediately processed and the, rem the remaining groups are one, two, and four week culture teeth respectively. After culture in medium, we began to evaluate. Let me start with um, cell characterization as uh, mesenchymal cells, including cell doubling assay, the doubling time assay, uh, to produce a cell growth curve, colony forming unit assay, CFU, to measure the proliferation ability of uh, individual cells, flow cytometric analysis of uh, surface markers, and osteogenic, uh, adipogenic, and chondrogenic assay for determine differentiation ability. And um, statistical analysis, the Kruskal was list, well, the Krusko Wallis test was applied with Man Whitney U test as post hoc analysis when necessary. Second experiment ex vivo human tooth culture pulp capping assay divided in two steps. First step divided into, uh, it, first step is dividing into two groups. First group, three teeth were applied with. Uh, MTA and the other group without MTA uh, represent as a negative group. And second step, histology examination. After four weeks in medium, the, te the teeth were fixed and decalcified. S serial selection was performed using a microstome. Uh, one section was stained with h &E solution. The other section was processed for gram bacteria staining. Results and discussion. Surprisingly, we found that 100%, yes, for 100% human dental pulp cells started to grow out of cells uh, of pulp tissue from all teeth. Yes, all teeth, include that basin. Yeah, things get more interesting here. All uh, the cells from immediately processed teeth Grow, grew out significantly more pulp explants than from the teeth that were cultured. And, um, but no significant difference in growth efficiency was found between the teeth that were in uh, culture for one to four weeks. On the other hand, 
there was no different in the rest of experiments. No different. But what fascinating was the result of the pop capping assay. Take a look at this amazing MTA captured taste. You can see this beautiful line right here, formation of the continuous band of collagen. And also right here, mineral foci. On this side, non captured teeth. Shown in the picture that normal architecture without eosinophilic area at all. And it shows same cell distribution. Moving on to discussion, folks. Uh, advantages. The data obtained in this study confirmed that pop tissue, even up to four weeks after, uh, after extraction, still contains cells that are able to behave and express markers in similar way as purple cells originating from freshly extracted teeth. Our finding validate the usefulness and applicability of the ex vivo human dental pulp model. Limitation, folks. Uh, naturally, the culture teeth are not supplied with oxygen and nutrients as transported in uh, vivo as part of uh, continuous blood circulation. In our study, my study, the, uh, the growth efficiency of cells occur up to four weeks was lower than that of freshly uh, cultured pulp tissue. Last conclusion, based on the finding of this study, we can conclude that the pulp tissue from teeth culture for up to four weeks to have viable cells that are able to behave and express MCS markers. In this sense, we strongly believe that the ex vivo tooth culture model might be valid too to study that early pulp tissue even occur after pulp exposure and uh, capping with different pulp ca uh, capping agents. Thank you for your attention.